What's going on you guys and welcome back to a different perspective if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy So I might sound a little bit under the weather. It's cuz I am But anyway y'all fellas specifically, I don't know if y'all know this This is something I've been aware of for a couple of months now And that's the fact that there are women that feel as though men are gaslighting them for the simple statement choose better men and the young lady, she posted a video on her TikTok explaining that same thing and using clips of different guys that she feel gaslights or use that term and why they're using that term. But it's, it's a conversation that the internet is having, so we're going to check it out. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Pick better men is just another way to gaslight women. If memory serves me right, women tell men to pick better women more often. It's the men's fault. I'm, I don't think I've heard a woman say pick better woman. Okay, whatever. It's whatever guy you chose for. That's not gaslighting. You chose, you choose bad guys and then you blame good ones. I don't know. It is just another black woman who just doesn't want to keep accountability for her actions. So she sleeps with Pookie and Ray Ray. Then... It's our fault for your poor decision. He wasn't wrong. For you to take responsibility for your choices in men. It's accountability for you, not what we do, not what a guy does. Woman, no, literally just pick better men. That is not trying to gaslight you into anything. Because if a man was to pick a bad woman, let's say a man has sex with a woman, right? And she gave him an STD. You would still blame the man, right? So he picked the no, bad woman. No, I absolutely <laughs> would not. He a, he a fool for that one. He, he, he was a fool for that one. Better men, because men If the men you're attracting in your life are really these demons that you make them out to be, and the men you surround yourself with, the men you take note of, the men you notice, mm -hmm. are the people that, exhibiting, that are exhibiting these traits, then maybe you are the problem. And you need to... Yeah. Now she's doing the little the little temple. Oh, I got a headache listening to him say that, but he was not wrong. He wasn't wrong because what have I told you guys multiple times before? It's the law of vibration. You can only attract the things into your life that you are vibrating at the same frequency as. So until you increase your level of vibration, hell you gonna keep attracting the same sort of people over and over and over. I was watching a Kevin Gates interview today and he was talking about it too. It's my fault as a man that these women allow bad men in their lives. It's my fault as a man that these women choose bad men to be in their lives, regardless of how bad they treat them, all because the women want their status, money, or their height, or something like that. <laughs> she thinks she's slick. She thinks she's slick. She chose, deliberately chose clips of guys that don't really know how to argue the conversation. She thinks she's slick. Yeah. I immediately had to pause this video and give a response. Cause what? Help me figure out how that statement pick better men is gaslighting for real. Glad you asked, I'll explain. So the phrase pick better men implies that women are actively and intentionally seeking out toxic people, which is simply not true of any human being. Listen to what she said again. More importantly than the clips that we heard from those other guys, I want y'all to pay closer attention to what it is that she said. Let's break it down. Glad you asked, I'll explain. So the phrase pick better men implies that women are actively and intentionally seeking out toxic people, which is simply not true of any human being. Pause. Now, we know that to actually be true, that there are plenty of women, people in general, but plenty of women, who are actively seeking out toxic men. I could literally post a thousand videos of women stating the fact that they like toxic men. As a matter of fact, I'll play a couple now. And I'm guilty of saying this myself, but it'd be like, oh, why are you with him, girl? Why are you with him? Because toxic dick is a bad dick. And it's like, he ain't lying. Like, yeah, it'd be the toxic. That be feeling good, but it's like, ah, oh, damn it! Like, why well, gotta be the so the sociopath who always gotta be looking good and have a big, and then they just toxic relationships more fun. 
I feel like um, toxic relationships are more fun. I was with somebody who um, gave me everything, was good to me, let me like do whatever I want whenever I wanted. I still felt I felt empty like inside. Mm. I felt lonely. I felt empty. I felt like a hole inside of me. But I feel like now you know what I'm saying my man's a little toxic and stuff. <laughs> but the sex is good, and yeah, I just feel more emotionally connected to that person because we go through certain things and then we make up. You know, so it's like it's pretty toxic. So it even became the popular thing in culture right now to be toxic. And to accept toxic. What rock is she living under? Because the key you guys are missing is simple. Manipulation. These men are not presenting themselves as toxic at the moment they're picked. What they do is they switch up later. Pause. So she's saying it's manipulation. Because I've, I've spoken to some female friends that would agree with her. That says, oh, y'all are manipulating us. Y'all are presenting yourselves as these great amazing guys in the beginning and then later on in a relationship once we fall in love with you you show a whole other side to you there are some people male and female that do that they will they will present the best version of themselves up front and then later on they'll switch it up but then you got to also think there's the honeymoon stage where you might ignore certain red flags that may pop up because i've seen that happen many a times where the red flag will present itself but that honeymoon stage will cloud your thoughts cloud the way you perceive that information right and there's also getting comfortable with somebody and knowing so much more about them and the point at which they switch up is always the same it's when they can tell that their partner is attached to them add in some childhood trauma or maybe an unhealthy attachment style for the woman and bam you have the perfect recipe for an abusive relationship pause and right here once you realize and start to see some of those major red flags. This is what we talk about. We say pick better men. At that point, you need to actively decide, hey, I'm going to go ahead and leave this situation and find one that's more suitable for me rather than sticking around and continuing to be mistreated. What does she say right here? Women cannot take accountability for a man decided to manipulate them, they can only take responsibility for unlearning and healing from the trauma that makes them stay. Exactly. You made that statement and then you said what? Add in some childhood trauma or maybe an unhealthy attachment style for the woman and bam, you have the perfect recipe for an abusive relationship. Okay, right, exactly, but then what makes you stay then where's the accountability is like you stated right here you can heal from the trauma that that relationship caused you but you got to walk away from it <laughs> however claiming that women like when men mistreat them is just sexist and it suggests that you think women are unintelligent weak and riddled with stockholm syndrome pause stockholm syndrome is a thing for a reason i see it happen more within women than it does with men there are some women out there that have been in abusive relationships that once that relationship ended and they got into a relationship with a guy that wasn't abusive, they thought that man was boring. He didn't excite them. There are some women that like that stuff. She's talking as if there isn't. <laughs> like all women are the same. Riddled with Stockholm Syndrome. But in case you're still confused, here's an analogy. Say I go to the store and I- Listen to this analogy, y'all. Listen to this. I go to the store and I'm looking for products that will clean every single surface in my house. I find a multi-purpose cleaner that says that it will do all of that and more, and so I pick it up and take it home with me. I clean the bathroom, it goes smoothly. I clean the windows, it goes smoothly. But when I try to clean the stove, I notice it doesn't clean as well, and when I put it on the wood, it stains. Who was at fault? The customer who bought the product or the company who lied about their product? Exactly. Exactly. Thank you for proving my point and not your own. If you do exactly what she said and buy a product that's a multi-purpose cleaner product, everybody that's ever used a multi-purpose cleaner product knows they don't clean everything. Let's say I need some oven cleaner, right? Oven cleaner. That's what it says on here. Oven cleaner. Let's say I need some oven cleaner and I go to Walmart where I got this from and 
on the shelves they got multi-purpose cleaner something that states that it cleans everything and they got oven cleaner something that states that it cleans ovens which one do you think I'm gonna choose the one that's gonna really get the job done because this is specifically what it's made for now if you chose that multi-purpose cleaner and it didn't get the job done what are you gonna do next you're gonna go walk in that store and you're gonna go get the product that's really gonna get the job done that is an example of choosing a better man <laughs> you you made a bad decision at first in the multi-purpose cleaner now you gotta go make the wiser decision and choose the thing that's actually gonna get the job done she tried she thinks she ate look at that little smirk on her face she thinks she ate with that one <laughs> uh, not quite anyway I want y'all to leave y'all thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Y'all know what time it is. Like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, you can follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at Artie Kicks. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See ya.